Welcome to our flipped classroom, where math knowledge makes things easier. Today we'll be learning about expressions and equations, specifically the seventh grade standards EEB4, where we'll use variables to represent quantities in a real world or mathematical problem, constructing simple equations to solve problems by reasoning about the quantities. In class, we discussed solving equations and figuring out the value of a variable that is similar to unwrapping a present. We don't know what the present is, but in order to get to that unknown gift, we have to unwrap the present and undo what was done to wrap the present in the exact opposite order. We also learned previously that an equation can be illustrated as a balanced scale. And when we're solving for the equation, we're going to undo what's being done to the variable. But whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other to keep it equal. Here's an example. 2x plus 6 equals 22. On one side of the equation, we have 2x plus 6. On the other side of the equation, we have 22. So the value of this expression is equal to this value of 22. Let's start unwrapping that variable. That 2x plus 6 equals 22. Here's our 2x's. Here are 6 1's. And on the other side are 22 1's. Now we want to isolate x. We want to get x by itself. And we added 6 here. So in isolating x and getting x by itself, we're going to undo that adding 6 by subtracting 6. So if we take away 6 on this side, we have to take away 6 on the other side in order to keep the equation equal. If we took away 6 on one side, we take away 6 on the other. The 6 cancels out, and we're left with just 2x. And the other side, 22 minus 6, is going to give us 16. Now, if we look at it this way, we see that each x aligns with 8 of those 1s on the other side, because 2x equals 16. If we look at the equation, we want to undo this multiplying by 2. And the way you unwrap that variable, the way we undo multiplying by 2, is to divide by 2. Multiply by 2, divide by 2 cancels out. We're just, we're just left with x on the side. And 16 divided by 2 will be 8. And you can see in this illustration, this x, again, lines up, aligns with 8 ones, and this x aligns with 8 ones. So 1x is equal to Let's check our answer. If we substitute 8 for x, 2 times x plus 6 equals 22. We substitute 8 for x, that's what we solved previously. So let's see, 2 times 8 is 16. 16 plus 6 is 22. So 22 does equal 22. So that value for x does make that equation true. So remember, there are a couple of important steps to remember when, when solving equations. One is to identify the operations, and then undo the operations in the opposite order. And as we've been working in class, modeling on a scale, a balance scale, may make the solution easier to see. Here are a few more equations to try on your own. We'll be working these in class, and you might want to get a jump start on them. The first one, 10 plus 3x equals 31. The second is 5x minus 10 equals 20. The third is x divided by 2, or 1 half x plus 1 equals 5. The fourth one is 1 third of x, or x divided by 3, minus 3 equals 6. And the fifth one, 5x times x, 5x minus 1 equals 19. Go ahead and work those on your own. I'll be checking your work at the beginning of class. Remember, be prepared to demonstrate your learning in class. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there.